Mona Mincara presents Planes, Trains, and Canes to the Lighthouse for the Blind, San Francisco. Hello, thank you, thank you. Can you hear me? Thank you for that wonderful introduction. Yes, we can hear you. So today, I'll just be talking about kind of my roadmap. What happened? How was my experience? So I start off by first, you know, showing you a video. Then I'll talk about what is Planes, Trains, and Canes. What was, you know, what did I do after I won it? The, you know, the timeline, what did I learn? And then the family and impact that kind of arose from playing Shane's and Canes and finally ending with my hopes and dreams as usual, you know? May we always continue dreaming. Okay, <laughs> so here we have the video. Can you yes. guys hear it? Yes. On season one of Planes, right, Trains, right. and Canes, we will travel the globe and explore together how public transportation is accessible to blind individuals. From Johannesburg, London, Istanbul, Singapore, and Tokyo, we will go on crazy adventures. This is utter chaos and I love it. And experience the good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Pain guides, pain guides everywhere. Excellent. The not so good. You know, this policy is patronizing because you're taking away my choice. I, there I isn't appreciate. A choice. We're not taking it away. There isn't one. This is a fire alarm. And the funny. No. Ugh. Hey, you want to try? Very corny. Very corny jokes. My type of joke. I am Mona, and I'm the blind traveler, and this is Planes, Trains, and Canes. Okay, love, peace, peace and happiness. happiness. Okay. Yes. The level of detail in this city is unbelievable. I'll find a cane guide and it will eventually lead me to somebody. We made it! It's almost like if we got the best of all these worlds that I'm seeing and combine them, it would be like the ultimate accessibility experience for me. Visit planestrainsandcanes.com. You can also find us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Like and subscribe and hit the bell for future notifications. Basically, I hope that was a nice overview of my experience. So really what Planes, Trains, and Canes is, it's an idea that I had about how I could travel independently, but then honor something that I really value, which is public transportation. And the reason why I talk about public transportation specifically is because I feel like a lot of times you can just go to a country, go to a new city, you know, get yourself into an Uber and just stay protected in your little Uber bubble and go from point A to point B and never really interact with the community at large. So I wanted to know how it would be to get down into the thick of it, you know, and into the masses to really be another one in the crowd in the public transportation systems in the different countries that I went to. So I actually went to Johannesburg, London, Istanbul, Singapore, and Tokyo. And what was even more interesting and fascinating is that along the way, I discovered different elements of what I consider to be pillars of freedom. And the first thing, you know, and it was really fascinating because almost every city uh, highlighted one of those elements. So when I went to Johannesburg, I kind of learned the power of determination that I had to discover within me. When I went to London, I learned that I had to advocate for the power, you know, the power to choose what I wanted. When I went to Istanbul and I was worried about it because I don't speak Turkish, I learned that human connection goes beyond language. And when I went to Singapore, I learned about, you know, just exploring. And finally, I went to Japan and Tokyo I was blown away by the technology. So almost like five pillars came out of this series. We call them power of determination, choice, human connection, exploration, and technology. Each city kind of highlights different element. And it was all discovered through this public transportation lens, which was amazing. So after I won the home in Pies, which was just a shock, <laughs> I will never forget Um Brian and the way they told me, they were like, oh, you know, we have a few more questions. And I remember like answering and I was like, okay, what are the questions? They're like, uh, a lot, you know, a lot of applicants from all over the world applied. And I was like, okay, here we go. They're going to tell me nicely that I didn't get it, you know? And then they're like, you won. I was like, what? So, <laughs> <laughs> so like, I'll never forget that. 
And, you know, the adventure honestly began from that moment. I, you know, planned it out, but I clearly didn't know really what I was doing. Um, I learned along the way and, you know, the process began. So here I have just a timeline. I started off with planning out the trip, what equipment I needed. Guys, cameras and microphones, very complicated. So learn that. <laughs> Actually, um, you know, did one trip and then, you know, finished all the travels before COVID, which was phenomenal that that worked out that way um, right before. So a few things that I learned. Number one, editing, way more difficult than you'd ever think. Like, I just had no idea. I just had no, I did not know what I did not know. And when I started to figure out how to edit, like I had to sit down with someone and like, I just didn't even know how to begin constructing a story from footage that was just real life footage. So that was the biggest thing that I learned. Second, if I'm going to actually do a good job, I need to sleep in a bed every night. I was like trying to, you know, extend the budget and I would be like, okay, you know, an over a red eye plane is good enough. Nope. No, no, no. <laughs> it's something I learned. Um, you know, I learned about microphones and cameras way more than I thought I'd ever learn in my life. And I, I learned about the intricacies. I, it, it was, it was, it was amazing. It was an amazing learning experience and the people that I got to work with. So from Plains, Strings and Canes, a family grew. And that's one of my favorite parts of this project. It, like it gathered a community of individuals that believed in the mission, which was to really discuss and openly have open and honest discussion about blindness and inclusion and the percep perception of blindness. So it starts off with Plains, Strings and Canes and I have the core people. So when we started off, it was just me and Natalie Buzzi, who's the camera woman, who never could intervene unless I asked her to. And I didn't even know where she was 90% of the time when she was following me around. Um, it started off with me and her. And then I brought in an editor, Benjamin Ted Jimenez. Fantastic. And then I brought in Ana Barbosa, who is like communications and, you know, development director, or like, you know, chief of communications and development. And then it just grew from there, you know, reaching out to people who helped out with logo and, you know, spreading on like Instagram, Facebook, like all these social media networks, of course, including, you know, the Holman Prize Committee and the Lighthouse family and so forth and so forth and so on. Like the family just grew from supporters that have reached out to O&M instructors that are like, this is fantastic because it also turned into a tool for a lot of these O&M instructors to use with their students during COVID because we couldn't, you know, interact with one another. So it's like, here, watch a video. <laughs> so, and then this left with a lot, you know, a huge impact. So we actually hit over 17 plus, we got, we were covered over 17 times in news articles, including BBC. So we were picked up by the evening standard in London. I really, apparently from that, if you guys haven't seen it, go check out the London episode. Um, you know, I have an interesting discussion with the London underground employee, but it really sparked conversation, the evening standard. Then it was picked up by BBC. And, you know, they're all like, everybody was like, you know, uh, in a, an interesting, you know, they were all invested in this story. Um, we have over 23,000 views on YouTube. Um, last we checked, over 700 subscribers. You know, we're still growing, hopefully. But this is what's fascinating. A few days ago, we put up our first TikTok video. And it already has over 120,000 views. Granted, wow. a lot of not so nice comments, but like, <laughs> I don't know. I suppose we got to start somewhere, but there's actual legitimate debate. And, and I think that's part of the beauty of this project is let's, let's have a discussion. Um, and so here I share some testimonials. I won't read them out just because I don't actually have them memorized right now, but like just some really thoughtful comments from a lot of the supporters on YouTube from o &M instructors that are thanking me for this tool to individuals that are like, you've, you have, you know, I connect with you because you're, you're showing my experience too, to just people cheering me on. So it's really awesome. And then so now I've talked to like planes, trains, and canes, and I, I look forward to any questions. But finally, I kind of want to end it on this note. I have hopes and dreams for this project. Even though the Holman year is over, 
my hopes and dreams are never over. So we're looking obviously to see maybe write more grants, you know, find some more funding. We would love to do a season two. There's been a lot of interest shown, maybe even pick, get picked up by like Netflix or something. I don't know. Um, but we hope if we do get funding for season two to go to Peru, Morocco, Sweden, and the Philippines. One of the reasons why Sweden in particular is Stockholm advertised their public transportation as being fully accessible. So I really look forward to investigating that claim um, and just experiencing different parts of the world and seeing what happens. And so with that, I urge every single one of you out there right now or right after this is over <laughs> to follow us on Playing Trains and Games. Go to YouTube, <laughs> subscribe, like, you know, Press the bell for future notifications. Uh, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, whatever floats your boat, and even TikTok, even though that's a beast on its own. Um, so you can just find us, Plain Strings and Canes. Just Google it. You'll find us. Thank you very much for listening. And I think it's time for questions. I'm not sure. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mona. You'll be on Clubhouse anytime soon, right? Oh, yeah, Clubhouse. I have to figure out how that works. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that works. Stop people's ears off about Visit planes, trains, and canes.com. You can also find us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.